this is the look of someone who's been kept awake all night reading. Hi and welcome to another reading vlog. I will get more into why I am so tired looking in a bit. I want to kind of get you caught up in some sort of chronological order. First of all, by the way, I just want to say as well, today is a dressing gown kind of day. I'm going to be vlogging a lot today, getting you all caught up. And it's all going to be dressing gown footage. It's just going to be a dressing gown day. So it is the 1st of August today, flipping it. And I haven't vlogged since towards the end of last week, I think, because I was planning on doing a little bit of vlogging, a little bit of reading vlogging here and there. And then I got really, really full of cold sick. I mean, like, not even just a little bit sick, I mean, like, really sick. I actually got sent home from work because I was that ill. So I've been feeling really rough. I filmed a few videos here and there when I've had to, but other than that, I've not really bothered vlogging. I've just been reading. Not at first, though. At first, I felt too ill to even read. I was just sleeping all the time, but yeah, now I'm just in the reading zone. So I need to do some catching up for you. In terms of my owls, I managed to finish A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. Is that a name? Yep. Yep, Louisa Morgan the other day. Um, for my something owl, what is that? Potions. And that book, I ended up adoring. It is just so special following each kind of generation of this witch family through and getting to know each person. And then just as you kind of get attached to a person, you move on to the next person. And it's just sad almost. I didn't want it to end. It was an over 500 page book. And when it ended, I was like, oh, one more. And I love that feeling. And when it's a thicker book and you get that feeling, you just know the author's done everything right. So, what day did I finish that? Saturday, maybe? From there, I moved on to my Muggle Studies Owl because I didn't want to get to the point where I wouldn't be able to fit that in since it was getting towards the end of the month. And I ended up reading that yesterday, actually. So on the very last day of the month, I read most of The Stranger on the Bridge by Johnny Benjamin and Britt Fluger. I think that, that's everyone involved. And this is a non-fiction book. In fact, it's a memoir, to be precise, of a guy called Johnny who nearly kills himself off, like by throwing himself off a bridge in London. But someone just happens to be coming past at the time and tries to stop him. Hence the stranger on the bridge. And this is a story of his life up to that point, why he felt the way he did. And then also how he was around that time. Then also afterwards and all the work he has done since then. For example, he's been on TV quite a lot. He's done like documentaries and stuff about it. He's done lots of charity work, trying to get people to like, understand that mental health isn't a weakness and to get themselves help before they get to the suicide point and he's just worked really hard and like really turned his own life around I mean he has relapses but he's learning how to deal with them he's turned his own life around he's trying to help other people turn their life around it's just really inspirational and so absolutely adored that book too then that meant that I'd finished reading anything that I needed to read for my owls, except for my audiobook. So I spent the rest of yesterday in between filming videos and feeling sorry for myself and then seeing friends, filming, filming? I spent the yesterday listening to my audiobook, which was A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. And I had to binge listen to that because I've got like eight hours still to go on it. So that was pretty crazy. But first of all, I learned that if you listen like for a long time, you are able to build up your reading speed in that specific session. So usually I'll listen to a book on 1.5 times, unless I'm not enjoying it, then I'll speed it up a bit. But because I'd listen, been listening to it for like a couple of hours solid, I was able to up it to two times and I still felt that was quite slow. I was able to follow the story easily. So then I upped it to, upped it to two and a half times 
And again, I was still finding myself able to keep up. I was like, wow, this is amazing. I was making progress with the book really quickly. So I thought, I'll just try three times. Yeah, three times was too much. But I was able to listen to a good couple of hours worth of the book on 2.5 times, which meant that I flew through it a lot quicker than what I expected to. So I finished that about half six, quarter to seven yesterday, which was just amazing. Which meant that I went out to my friends last night and was able to leave my Goodreads just totally free and blank. So that gets us caught up to last night. When I got in, I watched a bit of YouTube, watched a bit of BookTube. And then I um, decided to start my first newt book because it was about half past 12. So we were officially into August. So I was like, I'm going to get started on my newts. And decided to start off with Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I was planning on reading till about half one and then going to sleep. That didn't happen. About two o'clock-ish, I was thinking I should really put this down. But I couldn't. It got to three o'clock and I was like, I can't finish this comfortably in one sitting. If I read this, I'm going to be reading till stupid o'clock, like more stupid than what it already is. And I could do with sleep and I was like, but I can't find anywhere to put it down. There is just no appropriate place to put it down because it's so good. And so four o'clock came and I was like, well, I'm just going to finish it now on. I'm just going to actually just, what's the point now? I've stayed awake till this time. So at half past five this morning, I finished reading Caraval by Stephanie Garber. One sitting, five and a half hours, done. No, five hours. Start at half twelve, finished at half five. Uh, done. And it's been ages since I've done that. And I feel so full of book love right now. Although my eyes are stinging terribly. They sting so much. Because I've had like four hours sleep. And they just look shockingly bad as well. And it probably wouldn't have helped my cold one bit that I've sacrificed sleep to read a book all in one sitting. But you know, lesson learned there. Don't start what might be a good book so late that if you do need to read it all in one go, you won't be at it till half five in the morning. So, the book Tupathon started a couple of days ago. I haven't officially started taking part in that yet. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I have got, I've got my newts planned out and basically anything that I'm doing for the book Tupathon really needs to kind of fit into that. Well, I'm going to have to edit this so much with all the coughing and sneezing. <laughs> Anyway, so the first challenge is to coin toss a read. I'm thinking I'm going to cheat a little bit with that. So I'm just going to pop you here. I am going to coin toss. I am going to coin toss, but I'm also going to do it in a really sly way. Where have I put my coin? I did bring one over with me. And this is why I've not been vlogging because I just keep coughing and nodding constantly. I look like crap. I know I've already read The Stranger on the Bridge, but I did start that on the early hours of Monday morning. I started at like quarter past twelve, half twelve in the, mo in the morning. So it's in the official hours of the book Tubathon. So I'm going to count that as heads and just backtrack this a little bit. That as heads and tails. It can be quidditch through the ages. So if it lands on heads... I get to tick the challenge off as already done because I read The Stranger on the Bridge. If it lands on tails, I'm going to read this today. I'm cheating and I don't care. And I can't remember the last time I flipped a coin successfully. Uh, yeah, this is not going to go very well. Maybe I'll just like, maybe I'll just kind of throw it. That might work better. Oh my God, I didn't even see why it landed on great. I give up. Throw. Slatted on heads. So I am recording that right now as challenge number one done with The Stranger on the Bridge. Number two is to read a book about something you want to do. I think it'd be really quite fun to read a, read a, <laughs> ride a broomstick and play some Quidditch. So I'm going to put this down. So number three is to read a Read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So I'm going to cheat a little bit with that. So The Stranger on the Bridge, there is a documentary for it that actually came out before the book. But we'll ignore that little bit because as I said, I'm cheating. And 
now that I've read that, I'd really quite like to watch that documentary because I think that would be really kind of insightful and would help just round off my reading experience in a much more rewarding way than reading a book and then watching a film or TV show ever could in any other way. So I think that this will be a fantastic way to do it. So I might watch that later on tonight when my eyes are too tired to read because let's face it, they're going to be after last night. Number four is to read a book with green on the cover. I'm going to have to look through my newts and try and sort that one out soon. Uh, number five is to read a book while wearing a hat. The same hat the entire time. So I'm going to do that with Quidditch Through the Ages in a minute. Because why not? Number six is to read a book with a beautiful spine. I'll look at that one in a bit too. Uh, number seven is to read seven books. So I'll tally right now that I've done one, two. Because I've read The Stranger on the Bridge and I also read Caravel last night. And while it doesn't fit into any other challenges, it does fit into read seven books. So I've read two books. I'm currently on day three of the Booktubeathon. So I'm doing good cheating. <laughs> cheating is going well for me. But I can't remember the last time I did so well in like a readathon setting. I think it's because my reading has been so on off this year already that it kind of can't get any worse. <laughs> so... I have to have the occasional good spurt, or else I may as well just give up. So I am really pleased. Really, really pleased. And the time is now 20 past one. My mum is coming round at 20 past two. So that gives me about an hour to make some progress with Quidditch through the ages with my hat on. So I might go and grab my hat now. Also, in terms of just filling you in on what everything is kind of like for, for um, my newts. So, I read Caraval as getting a acceptable in charms, because it was a reader book with magic in it. So that was that. So I've already got an acceptable in charms, and it's still August the 1st. So we're off to a good start. Quidditch through the ages will get me an acceptable in history of magic. So I'll get that knocked off easily today. So I will end the day on a really strong start. Also, hat. I did consider putting like a scarf on or whatever. I thought even that would be quite warm because it's still quite warm there. I really shouldn't be sat in a dressing room, but I just feel so ill. So I've, I've grabbed my uh, Take That Tall Hat. So I'm going to sit here with this on, which at least it matches my dressing gown and um, get reading. I really love this edition as well. Like, I've been wanting to read it for so long because I just love that it's got that like, Hogwarts library bit in there. This is such a cool choice for me to read a, for a book that would fit right in at Hogwarts because it is from Hogwarts. My name should be on that bottom line there. This is the problem, I have an itch. Rather than being able to read and scratch the itch at the same time, that was just really uncomfortable. Love that illustration of a broom.